All right, Sam of 884 here, talking about a bad cube and their uh, reissues coming up. Um, they will not be reissuing uh, Huff, as he was with Cubex when they're known as Cubex. Uh, they're not actually going to be reissuing the same mold. They're actually doing updates and doing a little bit of remolding on him, and he'll just be Huff 2.0, as announced for Bad Cube. Bad cube. From Bad Cube's Facebook page, here's a look at their designs. You can see there's the new Huff 2.0 next to the brand new pipes. And then you can see all about Huff 2.0. He does have some remoldings. He got brand new legs, new thighs. It's like his arms are different. He's getting his uh, waist crotch area. He's closer to his G1 model, which is nice. Will you be picking this one up? Now, their new Huff 2.0 is as good as their gears and robot mode, since they mentioned diecast. Now, he'll be a wonderful addition. Um, I think he sizes a little bit closer to Braun in a robot mode. Huff, the original Huff did. I think a little bit shorter. But he has a big, you know, cab backpack. But they said about adding diecast. Now, Brawny, here, he's, he's straight up plastic. There's no diecast in him. He's very light. Yeah, whereas Gears, you know, he, he actually, he feels heavier, or just as heavy as Sun Surge, which possibly has no die cast in them whatsoever. Um, they would open their gra their game on the fields. Transformations are still a little meh, but as long as Huff 2.0 is up to the snuff of this kind of bot mode, I'm all for it. Uh, transformation, like I said, I think... Grump or Gears is one of the worst and be able to stay pegged in. Uh, and usually back here is really good with locking their tabs and stuff, but Grump for me, it's very hard to get the front end of the car aligned perfectly and stay aligned. But I'm really looking forward to the Huff 2.0. Are y'all looking forward to that one as well? And also, it's just some pictures. They're going to be reissuing um, Bronny and Backland. Um, Seems like these guys are going to be straight up reissues. Says there will be some joint adjustments and color updates. And they will include their accessories in each box. And also each box will be printed reissue. Um, uh, I think they did mention color changes. Uh, might be like this. Uh, on camera it looks like a really good uh, orangish yellow. But in reality it's, it's, it's very dull. It's not painted. Maybe they're going to do some paint. Like... I don't think he has any paint on him. And maybe the silver right here on the top. And the other thing is just molded in that color of plastic. And that's probably paint right there. But yeah, everything else is just molded in plastic. Um, but if they can get the paint game to look like Sun Surge and Gears here. You know, back cube, Lori, uh, back cube, Lori and Speed Bump. I think the reissues be worthwhile i don't have a backland i will probably buy the reissue backland so i can get my season three mini bots going because i haven't even started them yet i don't think i'm gonna buy another brawny um i think this one this one suits just fine unless i hear the quality is just outrageous and i have the extra cash then maybe i'll dip on the another brawny but Anyway, are y'all going to be buying the reissue Bronny and Backland? Um, are you, or if you didn't get it in the first place, will you be buying it? Uh, I'm really looking forward to Huff 2.0 after the Cubix uh, Huff. Had a lot of paint issues, uh, everything. So hopefully they'll fix that and correct that. And also, you know, pipes. And I always like pipes, so he's a definite. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace out.